Hey yo, so welcome back to the video. Today we're gonna be watching a new series on cuts. It's called The Couples Test. And this video is called Does My Boyfriend Know My Body Count? Y'all know the drill. Let's get started. We ask couples a series of questions to see who knows their partner best. I'm Sophia. And I'm Alex. We've been together for four years. Yeah, freshly four years. We've been together for over a year. Do you have any kids? Four kids. Are you married? Yes. 14 and a half years. That half matters. Yeah. You know? We're gonna give you each the same set of questions. The other person has to guess how their partner will answer it. Who do you think will win? I think, I think I will Are win. Are you serious? That was my gut reaction. Oh, come on. <laughs> Me. I feel like sometimes I'll ask questions and he doesn't really ask it back. I think I just observe more, so I'll know if, I know what she thinks. Does it matter who wins? No. You know. But I don't want to be like, oh, we've been together for almost 15 years and we barely know each other. All right, we're going to have you leave the room. All right. I'll go out there first. Okay. So I put these headphones on. This seems like such a great way to start arguments. One thing I notice is that the only couple that like are matching are the couple that have been together for like 15 years. So I don't think there's any problems with those guys. How often would you prefer to have sex with your partner? Silas, what is Faith going to say? Every night. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, every day. Sophia would like to have sex probably once a day. Every other day? Um, two times a week. Every day would be great, honestly. <laughs> Man, I already feel extremely lonely, bro. Ray, why, not, why am I watching this at... You see that? 129. In the morning, bro. This is like peak, like, depression. You know what I'm saying? I know that's not what no, he thinks, No, no, no. She's absolutely right. But why did you say something different? Because I'm thinking about, like, the kids. It's like, you got to find a place to do it. He would be like, probably a couple times a week oh, is what see? he probably thinks I want. Alex, do you know the name of her first partner? Uh, I'm going to guess, like, a Daniel. Marco. <laughs> I'm going to give it away. He has gotten the first two questions wrong so far. <laughs> Yes. Does she talk a lot about her exes? Uh, not at all. <gasps> really? I know, I ask him about his exes a lot, but he's like, I don't like talking about them. But I think that's nice, because, I don't know, he just wants to live in the moment. Or what's he hiding? What are you hiding, Alex? I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> this host is trying to start some stuff, man. You gotta chill bro. They're happy. They're all happy. For now. It's his first partner. Oh, jeez. I think it was the Mormon boyfriend. Grayson. That's... that's... His name was Caden. Oh. Whoops. How is Caden as a partner? Really bad and terrible is what is how she's usually described her experience with with Caden. Really bad, really terrible. I was 15, you know, and he was a couple years older than that. And so there was a lot of unconsensual things that happened. So that's like the main gig. How many people have you slept with? Josh, <gasps> what is she gonna say? <gasps> I am not answering this one. I have no idea. I don't know, I don't think he even knows. Actually, I don't think we've ever actually talked about this. What would you guess? No, he better not even say a number. I think Sophia has slept with 11 people. I have slept with 13 people. Alex got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I told you, bro. This is gonna start some argument. Maybe I'm reading too much into this situation, but that does not look like a face of a happy guy. Probably five. But you could times that by two. You have a number and said you could times it by two. <laughs> Do you want to give the real answer? That sounds right. <laughs> Would you have a threesome? Uh, with me? Yeah, you yeah. can be the oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that your first <laughs> question? Yes, she, she'll say yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why did you put a question mark at the end of that? Like, I'd have to sit down and, like, think about it, think about the person. It seems like a lot of work, but yes? Uh, she would not have a threesome. No, I would not. <laughs> Is that my first right answer? I would definitely feel jealous, and I think he would just not know how to perform. <laughs> he would just not know how. <laughs> I would know. He'd, be, he'd feel awkward, uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, it got me thinking, bro. Like, about a threesome? Imagine you're playing Fortnite, bro. You're like, let's run some duos right now. Then all of a sudden, a third person joins in. You're like, shoot, I thought we were running duos, but now we're running trios and we're getting like 
we're we're not we're not doing so good. I don't know. It's late. I'm just trying to get through this video. To sleep with anyone outside your partner, who would it be? The first thing that came to my mind was his best friend, which feels bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> can he hear me? Yeah. He can? Yeah. Oh, nuts. You didn't realize he's literally watching this I had no idea he was watching me. Oh, no. Is that not the whole point of this thing? Don't you sign like a contract to be in these videos? How do you? All right, whatever. But bo best friend. That's. Like not celebrity crush because that, that's where my mind went like if i had a girlfriend she was like if you could sleep with anybody else who would it be i'd be like natalie portman i wouldn't even want to like sleep with natalie portman i just want to be like in the same room as her and just like talk to her and say hi i'd want to meet natalie portman what is your partner's most annoying trait <laughs> what do you think she's gonna say i have no idea i do a lot of shit. <laughs> that i like to pay attention to grammar and, and call things out Impatience, just a tad. She means impatience with grammar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably that I don't fill up the tank, the gas. That's it. If she says that, we're telepathically like <laughs> on. What is it? Probably when he doesn't fill up the gas tank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Among other things. Oh, that's crazy. Fill up the fucking tank, man. I'm a woman. It's true, brother. You don't have to pump the tank. Speak it, girl. You ain't lying. I know. I told you, bro. They're like, they're like this. They're matching. They have three kids, three or four kids. I, I don't remember. I knew that they were going to do the best. I think they only got like one question wrong so far. So that's pretty good. Sophia, what are you the most insecure about? I think Sophia's most insecure about her shoulders. I'm a little bit insecure about my jaw line. I guess I just chose wrong. I had, a, I had like a horrible like underbite when I was younger and I had to get jaw surgery and I'm insecure about that. She's the most beautiful person on the planet. She has nothing to worry about. Aww. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute, bro. That's so cute, bro. That's so cute, bro. Faith, who hurt you? That's pretty deep. Um, oof, I don't know. Dad. Um, I think he said my dad, but surprise, it's actually my first boyfriend, Caden. I had a tumultuous relationship with my father, yes, but we've done a lot of growth and we're still in each other's lives. But I think having so much sexual trauma at a young age really, really did a number up here. So I think Having to kind of work through that on my own has been a bit difficult, but easy with Silas. What is Sophia's biggest fear? Being poor. Slugs. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all about the bait, bruh. Loki, that's my biggest fear. Being poor. Like, poor enough that, like, I'm homeless. Oh, cause, like, what do you do if you're, like, not into drugs as a homeless person? Do you, like, start doing drugs cause you're homeless? Like, is that, is that how it works, bro? Who puts the most effort into the relationship? Um, I think she's gonna say it's even. He definitely does. I'm very, very lucky. Hmm. How's that feel to hear? <laughs> really good. <laughs> He's everything that I'm not. He makes me so much better. I like, life didn't even start until I met him. Me too. He says me too. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, dude. Imagine, imagine saying that about somebody, bro. I'm tearing up too. Life didn't start until I met them. That's <sighs> oh. Filming this at 1 a.m. is affecting me hard, dog. Holy crap. That's so cute, I'm stealing that. I'm putting that in my notes. If my future wife is watching this video, and I say this, this is where I got this vow from. There. Put it in. <laughs> I knew we, should, we were gonna cry, somebody was. You ready to swap? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Come on, this way? All right. So, headphones there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, there's no hot. Whoa, I do see him, he's right there. He looks so good. Aw, this, it's such, this is just such a sweet video, dog. <laughs> I, okay, look. I saw this and I was like, I thought, like, immediately bad. <laughs> this video is gonna make some people break up. But no, they just picked the three sweetest couples in the world. If your partner dies, she's dead. 
How soon do you feel comfortable starting to date? What do you think he's gonna say? Three to five years. Probably nine months. Oh, it's not <laughs> Of course he's gonna be like, I don't know. And then he'll say maybe like four years. Let's say four. I don't know. See? Six months seems Six like months. a good, a good uh, <laughs> threshold timetable for this sort of thing. I'm not over like a hard shit I had six months ago. Really? Six months? To start dating again? It'd be like at least a year. Like, I guess it depends on how long the relationship is. I look, I don't remember anything like in the beginning. I was not locked in. I'm not gonna lie. I was not paying attention to what they were saying. I don't even know anybody's names. But I know that one of the couples are married. And I assume that... The other two couples have been in relationships for a pretty decent time. Have you ever thought about leaving your partner? What do you think he'll say? No. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I screwed that up. <laughs> Would I ever leave? Any time in your mind have you thought about leaving? Her? Into your whole oh, relationship. Hell no. No, yeah. no, no, no. Me leave? No. Not a chance. What are you the most insecure about? Oh, his his skinny calves. I don't think they're skinny, but he <laughs> thinks they are. I'd say my calves. My calves dodge every gram of protein I put in my body. <laughs> I'm just waiting to be a dad, so I, my calves explode. Yeah, you need to have some kids. Get those dad calves. <laughs> uh, look, this is gonna sound weird, but I feel like most guys I talk to and like most guys I see on like the internet, the one thing they're most insecure about is their calves. Like for some reason, I don't know why. Say his feet. Genetically, they're very flat. Looking tired. I'm a little oh. insecure about it. Sometimes I feel like I look really tired, and I am tired sometimes. <laughs> What'd she say? Faith said, your feet. My feet? <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? What is he gonna say? He would say doggy style. Doggy style? It's doggy. I really like doggy. His is missionary. <laughs> What's your answer? I like cowgirl. Mm -hmm. He's switching up. Faith, what is Silas's biggest fear? His biggest fear is not living up to his potential in terms of his career, of not making it to where he wants to. He's a musician. Public speaking. Oh. <laughs> she said it's not living up to your potential. I had considered that was my... That's the real answer. Gut reaction. <laughs> this is just such a nice, chill video. I have nothing to say. I'm just smiling throughout this video feeling giddy the whole time. What's your biggest fear? It's definitely rats. He's fucking terrified of rats. <laughs> I mean, I think she's gonna say that I don't have any fears. <laughs> nope, she had an answer. Really? A fear that she's gonna leave me. How about that? Aww. What's been your biggest disagreement in your relationship? This sounds weird, but how we respond to things. Maybe that's it. The, the moving thing, where to live and why. The moving is the real one, yeah. I want to uh, move back to the East Coast because the things that are there are really beneficial to my career path. Do you think Faith would consider moving there? I think she'd consider it. Right now, it's a definite no, yeah. What's been your biggest disagreement? Him looking at thirst trap Instagram reels and TikToks. Whether or not I can watch certain videos on the internet. Such a, so dumb. Do you have an issue with him watching? No, no, I do not. Anymore. <laughs> no, I don't even watch porn. How did his last relationship end? She was a couple years older, so she went to college and he was still in high school. So it was just kind of like, you know, the natural high school relationship ending. Uh, she went off to college and I attempted to, to go to New York City. <laughs> during my year off that I was taking. I was trying to get freaky over in New York City, the Big Apple. I, I don't, <laughs> no judgment here, bro. Hey, do you think they hooked up? I think so, yeah. Did you hook up? No. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, Did he I, just lie? I don't know, I, um. He does know. <laughs> Who puts the most effort into your relationship? I, I think he'll say I put the most effort I think it's equal all the way until um, I'm basically her chauffeur. She does not have a car, and I have to drive her around everywhere. So <laughs> your answer is you. Ah! Okay, leaning towards me. All right. Why do you love your partner? I think he's gonna say my openness to how much I love him and that I would do anything for him. I love Faith because she is so cheerful and funny. <laughs> she makes me laugh. Oh. 
And she's a great cook. Oh, that's nice. And did you know that your wife was the one? Like when he skipped school with his, to see his cousin at my high school and he saw me in the hall, that's when he knew. Uh, long story short, I was in the hallway and then she like tapped me on my shoulder and she was like, hey, you're cute. And then like went off and I was like, dang, she's beautiful. <laughs> uh, from the moment I met her to 14 and a half years later with four kids, like she's just this remarkable woman. She's an amazing mom mom to our kids. I love her. Do you like that answer? Yeah. Do you want to go give him a kiss? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's such a... Uh, that's, that's so nice. You're so cute, bro. That's... Uh, love her. Um, how was this experience? It was really good. It's yeah. like therapy. Yeah, it was good. We needed this. You both tied. We tied? You tied. No yeah. way, Jose. Guess who won? <laughs> she did. Yep. I did? She had 13, right? You had 11, right? Oh, God, that's really good. Not too far off, but she overall did better than you. I okay. do want to point out, you both got under 50% of them, right? What? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not that like, how, how? But some of them are tough. Some of them are tough. Your biggest disagreement, how often you'd prefer to have sex, who got it wrong? I don't think oh, he, he I, got that wrong. He probably thought I was gonna say like a couple times a week. Cause maybe. I don't consider like a cookie like doing it for me. <laughs> Cookie's <laughs> fine with me. Which answer surprised you the most? I'm just surprised about nine months. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> if I died. I know if she really died, she would want me to be happy as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. Tell her, what was your answer? The ex's name. You really didn't date a Daniel? <laughs> Alex! That's my dad's name. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Cut! Another banger! <laughs> That's the whole video. I hope y'all enjoyed, because I... Man, I love love, bro. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment down below, do all that jazz. But, most importantly, have a great day. That's a wrap.